Okay. So, um, yeah, so first difficult question, uh, what's your name and, and what do you uh, currently work on with React? Hey, my name is Christopher Shedo and I'm also known as Beja on the internet and I'm currently working on a React Native. Um, how long have you been involved with React? So I've been involved like, uh, it must be like two and a half years now. And the way I got involved is like React was just a prototype from Jordan Walk and he showed, me, he showed it to me and like at the time I was like, okay, you're going to re-render the entire application on every single update. Like this is crazy. Like this is never going to be performant enough. But if it actually can be, like if it's actually fast, then it's going to be a huge like success. And the reason why is because the, by re-rendering everything, you avoid doing like the really hard part of computer science, which is like mutation and updates. And so like two weeks later, I tried the project and I was like, oh my God, this is actually working. And so since that day, I basically like been the most hardcore fan of React and try to like push my entire team myself and like trying to build a community around it. Um, that's very cool. So uh, what was your talk on today specifically? Yeah. So I did a keynote, like this is the introduction of uh, the conference and what i wanted to do is uh, to like summarize like the entire react ecosystem because react itself is just like one small part this is just the view but because you're now with react you're now thinking about building your inter your user interface first like all the other tools like data management like packaging like javascript language or like the rendering target like they fall off from like this way of building UIs and we can actually rethink them and make them like 10x better. So I try to paint a big picture of uh, the current landscape and like to try to get people excited about the future. Uh, out of the, the bigger, broader React ecosystem, what has you the most excited uh, coming in the next year? So I think like the, the thing that I'm really like the most excited about is to bring the entire community together. So like not only like React itself, but like the Angular community, like the Ember, like they're all doing like fantastic work. And in order like to really change the future and like like uh, be able to like do big impactful projects, we all need to work together. And so the analogy I took is uh, we want in order to like have innovation, you need like to have a lot of experiments and you need to let them go. But at, the, at some point you need to reduce and find the ones that are like the best. And in order to be able to do that, what you need to do is to have collaboration between all of those experiments, like React, Angular, and Ember, Web Component, like all of them, so that they can actually like uh, work together and like we find the best place. And I'm already seeing it happening like on React Europe, uh, Ember, Conf, and the uh, uh, Angular Conf, like the other frameworks have been mentioned in the, all of those keynotes. So I think like this is a very like good environment right now. Yeah, it's really exciting in, in the last two years, the uh, the progress in, in the web development, like the theory, the practice, the tools, the technology, it's been uh, nothing short of awe-inspiring. Um, so in, uh, I guess, uh, sort of as a, as a final question, like. What do you see in the future of, of JavaScript and React, say, uh, two to three years out? So the way I see it is that we have one unified developer environment, and it's as simple as doing like React in it or something like this. And then you get like a really high performance packaging tool like to let you like reload like super fast. And you've got like all the data ma management like built in, and now you can like just start an app and you don't need to care about all the data and uh, and JavaScript the language like is going to evolve like right now we're using ES6 but we're going to use ES7 and I, I see a future where we're going to be able to like build us like a, a new JavaScript that's going to be tailored for like writing like really good apps and like super high performance and the last part is React Native I really want like React Native to inspire other people to like build really high quality native like mobile apps uh, and like not be locked in the, this current like really bad world where we have to rebuild the same thing t three times which is like a waste of time for everyone so this is like my 
like where I want to go. And again, like we're not going to be to be able to go there without without like working together. Actually, on that, uh, one more question. So, uh, React Native, um, so when's Android support can be out? Yeah. So the way we work at like we see open source at Facebook is we only want to open source like things that we use in production and the there are two benefits of this one is we actually ensure that the quality is really good because like we're using it to like to many many people and also it makes sure that we don't trash the community so like we don't like release like 10 projects that are going to die like uh, a year later or something like this so we really want to ensure that the thing that we are open sourcing we are committed to them so now the f the first step was to um, uh, release an app written in React Native, and this like we just shipped the Android version of Ads Manager uh, two days ago. So now the entire team is going to shift focus from like building the infrastructure to making sure like the open source uh, release that we have is really high quality. So expect it in a few months. I cannot give like I don't know what time it's going to land, but like only a few months. I well, definitely appreciate that, uh, that getting the uh, proven, tested uh, software out in the community because that helps us a lot when we're building apps. Cool. So, thank you very much. Yeah.